Hello friends, <coughs> very good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Talent Traders. Myself Bala here and welcome you all to my channel. And uh, this video, I'm going to create a, one of the interesting scanner for uh, positional trading or uh, swing trading, something kind of thing which we can use the scanner. And uh, we are using a 50 EMA rejection and daily time frame. So we can uh, easily find out a trend reversal. Uh, at the lower level or even at a support on uh, 50 EMA. So maybe here you can look at the candle where taken a support and uh, that was giving you such a good rally after the support which is taken on 50 EMA. So whatever the EMA which we want to uh, make it and we can uh, easily make with that a particular scanner and recent stocks uh, with the back test report and that is also working good and based on this and one more stock where we can you can find out on 2nd february here is the rejection and it taken a support and it finally it moves so how we are looking for uh, a kind of stock which taken a support on 50 ema after that we are going to look for a good opportunity some of the stocks which i find out for this particular uh, scanner i just uh, 50 EMA that was working good and well. So, for example, Sinjin. Let me check uh, some of the stocks which is happening on uh, Sinjin. So, 15 uh, January, something like that here, and doesn't give you the breakout over and above to the point. So, what I'm exactly looking for uh, on 15 e 50 EMA. So, what I'm I'm looking for the conditions for this particular scanner for uh, positional trading. So 50 EMA, so where you can look at this is a 50 EMA and my candle should be a green candle and this is what my conditions where I am going to create that particular scanner and the wick that be equal or less than the 50 EMA and the candle which closed as a green and here I am just looking for a breakout opportunity or pullback from that particular level such a kind of candle which forms at on 50 EMA so that I'm just looking for a trend reversal okay so maybe here also it is happening uh, uh, on 50 EMA but it was not a green candle but you can look at this here perfectly taken a support and it is giving you such a good move from that point and here is another candle with taken a support and it is giving you such a good move but I'm not uh, going to take all the candles where it is taken a support from that particular level but I just focusing a trend reversal candle that should be happen at that particular point. So on 50 EMA or maybe it may be a 200 EMA, 100 EMA, whatever the thing which we can take it. So here is also be the another uh, chance and here is the chance. And where I'm just looking exactly the reversal pattern which forms on uh, 50 EMA. And uh, from there, I'm just looking for an opportunity. So let me start to create the scanner. Okay, so it is based on the custom indicator which I have already created. That custom indicator is nothing about uh, that default indicator which is not available in uh, charting. So we need to create manually. After that, using that custom indicator, then we can utilize that particular uh, indicator to create a scanner. I hope you understood. Okay, so if in a normal one, so you can't be able to find out uh, the charting scanners. Okay, and the default scanners. I'm just always looking for a future stocks. Here in this case, I'm just using a daily time frame. Okay, so here these are my custom indicator which I have derived. I think that one is not available here. Okay, so let me end this in just a moment. I'll switch my account. So let me go for a futures and I'm going to high minus open. Yeah, here is the customized uh, indicator which I've already created. So I'm just uh, using the steps how to create that spank scanners. Okay. Uh, here, customized indicator which I've already created. So this one uh, should be less than and minus low. 
that is the one more conditions so why i'm using a customized indicator so because uh, in charting we are comparing two variables okay so but here i'm just comparing four pi variables and i'm multiplying with the numbers so it is not possible with a single variable so we need to use a customized indicator to uh, make multiple uh, scanners okay so i'm just uh, finding out four variables in a single line so customized indicators is very uh, much required okay so another one the range of that particular candle this is also be a, one of the customized indicators almost we uh, use the lot of uh, indicators in uh, uh, in this particular scanner okay so already we, we find the same kind of scanners okay so let me try to find out that must be greater than uh, and these are all the custom one okay okay so and uh, we are going to look for uh, the daily open must be uh the daily is the green candle okay so here is the normal condition so only two comparison which we can uh create here daily open okay so this is what a base of that particular thing and we are going to use a daily EMA. okay so the low of that particular day where it must be less than uh, EMA uh, exponential moving average which i'm going to use 50 period and uh, another condition which i'm going to make that greater than uh, must be the close greater than the uh, EMA. okay so this is what a simple conditions but it uh, consists of lot of uh, multiple uh, of screeners okay so that means we have added uh, in core okay so let me check uh, this particular scanner will work for a uh, thing okay so i need to save the scan for a uh, testing basis okay let me go for a test okay so here we don't find out a random uh, many stocks uh, we will be finding out uh, um, the stocks in periodically so monthly 5 to 10 stocks like that one is just not going to generate you huge number of stocks okay so here uh, june from june onwards we will be getting nine month reports so i'll be just uh, going for uh, uh, january onwards last uh, two two months so 11th january we have a dalmia bharat okay so let me check dalmia bharat 11th january will it works uh, better or not so i'm just looking for 11th january so october november december where does january 11th be here december here is the 11th january so how much i'm making a risk from the top to bottom so the above to the high of that particular candle exactly what i'm uh, just looking for that particular candle so it is looks like a hammer candle and uh, the low it touches through the ema that means taking a support and then it is turned into the green candle so once it is turned into a green candle so maybe the uh, rejection from that 50 ema period and about to the high of this particular candle we are looking for a buy opportunity because it is a eod scanner end of the day scanner it is not required premium scanner uh, that means a paid version so the free version is good enough after the market you, are, you can run the scanner around four four to five o'clock then you will be getting the stock and that particular day's i is very important uh, we are looking for a breakout on next day so in this particular thing so we find out the breakout but here it fails no problem at all so here it fails and how much the candle low should be my stop okay so here is my stop on this particular candle the low of that particular candle is somewhere okay let me try from that point to this point exactly it near about two percent that got triggered your stop loss and the finally it came down okay so no problem at all so it is not about 100 percent maybe around 70 80 percent will just generate you some good result so dalmia barat and the next day berger paint okay that is what 12th january so berger paint you can do the back test also according to this 12th january on berger paint maybe 11 12 what is the exact date 12 january so berger paint 10 11 12 January, I think it is not touched to the 50 EMA period. So, why the stock will came into the list? Maybe some data issue. 12 1, Berger Paint, we are doing 12 1, 24. But this is not touching to the level. But uh, why it is came into the scanner? So, we need to check that. Okay, so no problem. So, let me check remaining stocks. And this particular day, the MM and Sinjin. So let me check on 15 January. MM. 
to 10th January. Here you can see this is a huge move which is happening on 15th January. Sorry, it is 25th, 15th January here. So the next day the high is not broken. So that particular high is not broken. Six one six four zero point nine zero. So next day it is one six four zero. The high is not broken. The low is already broken. So it is a invalid signal. Okay. So and then uh, Sinjin on the same day. So it is what a positional equity holding. So Sinjin on fifteenth January that high is not broken. The low is already broken. It is not also be a valid one. So almost four stocks we are filtering out. So we don't find out any opportunity. So on 18th it is about ITC okay so let me check ITC 18th January maybe this it's a huge one so from that I is broken but a huge uh, rejection at this bottom and finally it is breaks below the level so 467 454 if it is a big stop loss don't go for how much is the percentage so almost uh, 3 percent so no problem it is triggers our stop loss after the breakout from 460 it is went up to 475 so not a big move okay then itc five stocks we got a one and that was not moving and the next one is about hindustan in liver 19 1 january hindustan in liver 19 1 here is maybe the 19 1 the high is not broken so we don't have an opportunity on this particular thing also so after that uh grassy on 24 1 24 january so grassy 24 January here is the point so this is what a thing which you are looking for okay so here we got an opportunity and the low is around three percent and as of now it is almost nine percent uh, from January 24 okay so this kind of opportunity where we are taken at a support level so one which is just more uh, huge and again in 25 one EMM. and okay so let me check uh, previously it's a grazing uh, 24 and 25 january m and m again so this time m and m which is working better last time uh, we don't have an opportunity so the, here we find this and next day it is not broken and uh, here 25th that high is broken so what we are taking a risk from this particular candle so just about two percent and it went up to almost 20 percent from that point so not for an intraday but positional stock selection which we can use this particular scanner and here uh, this is on uh, metropolis on uh, 2nd february let me check metropolis simply that candle which taken a support metropolis second february here is the maybe second february from that point from 1651 it went to maximum of 1830 so let me calculate how much it moved so the risk for that particular candle is almost four and a half percent it's a big one five percent and it was giving you maximum of ten percent result as of now it was not triggered even stop loss still it is running also okay so metropolis that was in uh, result and uh, here so iShare motor and icac prudential 9 february 9 okay icac prudential 9th february so maybe here 9th february that high is not broken so no valid entry at this point 9th february and one more stock on 9th february is about iShare motor whether it is given you the opportunity or not 9th february so here in this case uh, initial movement is good but and finally it triggers your stop loss and how much stop loss which this particular stock will be taken so it's near about 2.2 percent that got triggered but after your stop loss then it went up to nearby 4000 plus from 3800 so that's a one more opportunity which we are seeing from this scanner and uh, here is the one more stock tata steel and 13 to so recently tata steel 13 to here is a perfect opportunity where we find out the breakout on this particular uh, data still on the support taken at this point and the risk factor is around three percent and it went up to 15 percent that is also be a great move where we find out okay this is what a scanner which never repaint because we are, our condition is uh, perfect and it will never repaint after the stop loss if any stocks will be removed most of the scanners okay this will never repaint so because of our conditions okay and one more stocks recently pfc and 22 second okay so very less number of stocks is good enough to take a positional one pfc 20 second that has also be a stop loss next day trigger 417 that got triggered 319 and that was a stop loss and after that it moving well so no problem at all. so when the risk is okay then we can plan our trades and then the final thing which we got at icc pro day again so let me check icc pro day second time so here is the time so it is not given you opportunity 
and uh, 23rd february right so let me check yeah 23rd february here is then one more thing but uh, it's a such a small stop loss so just about 1.7 percent and it given you almost 16 percent so this is what and more one more trade which is generating a huge so what we find out in this scanner so we find out in this from last three months so almost uh, five six stocks and overall stock is almost a uh, 10 15 stocks only from that uh, some stocks not given you opportunity some stocks may trigger our stop loss some of the four stocks which given you more than 10 percent that is huge enough so this is what a scanner which we have created and uh, soon it will be updated on our uh, premium group uh, that we have a charting group for a uh, premium scanners there i can update this uh, scanner and you will be getting that okay i hope you understood the concept and thank you for watching this and thank you very much so those who are new to my channel kindly subscribe and if you have any other questions or doubts also you just ping me on my whatsapp number the number which shown on this video thank you so much thank you for watching and thank you for uh joining uh this session thank you so much and we'll meet you on next video thank you